Jason and I are up here stirring the preparations, biodynamic preparations. In this case, it's number 501, which is silica or ground up quartz, which is put in a cow horn and left to sit underground over the summer. Uh, Rudolf Steiner, who invented, came up with biodynamics, um, wanted to put the forces into the plants and into the agriculture as well as the nutrients. And this is a case of putting the forces into the plants. The silica is multifaceted and when it's sprayed on the plants, it has a lot of practical effects, like it staves off fungal disease, it improves the quality of the fruit, increases the dry matter within the fruit. In the case of grapes, it can raise the bricks level, the sugar level, one full point by putting this on. We put it on at sunrise in the summer, and there's a lot to be said about surface area. As you're stirring, stirring the water, you're creating lots of multi-surfaces for the silica crystals, and you form a lot of bubbles when you're stirring fast like this. Bubbles create a lot more surface area. So kind of what you're doing is you're bringing the essence of the stars down to the earth as above, so below. Um, you stir it for exactly an hour. You can go counterclockwise. Then you want to create chaos and go the other way. Create a lot more surface area, a lot more bubbles. And then you want to apply it about one gram per acre. The first year that we did this, well, John set it up and then he was gone. And I was angry because I thought it was stupid. And I had to get up at sunrise. And of course I was late, standing in the back of a pickup truck, stirring something in a trash can. Sounded pretty ridiculous. So I'm kind of angry and I'm climb up there and I'm stirring and stirring and it's hard and I'm thinking there's no way I can do this for an hour. And after not too long, the water started carrying the stick around and it wasn't hard at all. <clears throat> and then the sun came up and reflected in the water. Pretty soon there were millions of suns reflecting in this incredibly beautiful spiral. It made me feel like I was stirring the whole universe into the farm and the power, the energy of the universe and the stars into the farm and into the world. And I started loving it. And pretty soon I looked up and the hour was over with and I didn't want to stop. One of the challenges of biodynamics is convincing a skeptical public that it's not hocus pocus. Um, but there's plenty of evidence out there of improved quality of fruit, less fungal disease, and uh, just overall thriving of the plants as they're growing. You can feel the strength in the plants that have been subjected to the biodynamic preps. So, uh, you know, when Rudolf Steiner brought biodynamics to this country and the mid mid 20s 1920s at a time when chemical uh, chemical nitrogen and fertilizers were becoming prevalent in Germany and Austria and the world it revolutionized the way we think about agriculture and you know got people back to their roots learning what organic agriculture was all about and that it was all about quality not quantity and what you are, what you eat, is really what you are. So, you know, we think it's important on our farm to to do things right, and um, we've never put any any other kind of fertilizers on the plants. We mostly use fish emulsion, uh, compost that have been treated with biodynamic preps.